Hello! Swallowing Mercury by Violetta Gregg. It was a beautiful, beautiful book. It feels more like a collection of short stories. It didn't really have a plot that was connecting it all. It was just kind of like the girl's life. And uh, the girl, I believe, is the author. They are kind of autobiographical in some way. The author is also a poet. Uh, you can really, really tell that she's a poet. The translation is amazing. Uh, I find a lot of the translated books that I read have issues with uh, passive voice and that really really annoys me um, as I explained in my last video. This book doesn't have that problem at all. The translation is very vivid, very alive, very colourful, uh, very sensual and it's just it's amazing. It's uh, set in Poland during the communist era in an invented town. One of my favourite characters in the book was Viola's dad. He's a deserter who's become a taxidermist, which is quite interesting and there's a lot of kind of, I wouldn't say graphic, but very specific detailed descriptions of how he does his work, which was really fascinating actually. But him as a character, I just, I really related to somehow, I'm not sure how, but um, I really, really liked him. Everybody in the book was represented really well and specifically and in really interesting details and very just normal people. I love normal people doing normal things. Um, and while this is normal people doing quite odd things sometimes and I love how the kind of religion and superstitions have all kind of blended in this kind of harmonious way where they don't conflict with each other and even though they do, they are hypocritical of each other, they're just, they're just there. I really like that and I love how the community really feels like there is people there. I think one of the big weaknesses of like uh, YA and children's books is often that the supporting characters feel so weak and like the main characters, they're very on their own a lot of the times so or there's very specific people. Um, there's not really a big sense of a community and I really that's what I really really like about uh, historical fiction. I think the one thing I wish there was more of was political context of what was going on at the time with the communist era um, being in control. There's little glimpses of it. He does write a little note in the back about some of the context that um, were missing. So it was really interesting but it just felt like a note at the end wasn't enough. I wanted more of it in the stories and in there. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail about any of the stories specifically. I wouldn't say there's really a way you could spoil this book because it doesn't really have a plot in that kind of way. It, I was quite unsure at some point how old Viola was supposed to be. Um, sometimes she felt very very young, maybe uh, 10 or 8 even, and then other stories it was more like she was a lot older and like in her teenage years and sometimes then it went back to her feeling young again. I was like, hmm, I wasn't really sure um, how old she was or whether this was a kind of um, chronological selection, really. But the characters have a real resonance and I think if you enjoy poetry and you enjoy, well, short story collections, um, you really, really like this. Hopefully going to buy it myself at some point. This is actually a library book. Um, so if you're in Devon, it's in the library, go get it. Um, I haven't really seen many reviews for this yet, though I have seen other booktubers uh, mention it in their TBRs. I definitely want to check out the author's other work. Um, it says in back that she's written six volumes of poetry. So if you've read Swallowing Mercury, I'd love to hear from you. Um, comment below and yeah, I will review another book another time. Bye! Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like, ah, uh, TV of the. Mm.